to live together in holy matrimony, to love her, to honor her, to comfort her, and to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. Amen. was just that girl that like looked really cool like I wanted to be friends with her <laughs> so we both made the cheerleading squad and that started it she introduced me to her best friend Michaela and it's pretty much been the three of us against the world ever since went along all of those all those amazing journeys um we had many, many conversations about how I truly think Lucas is one of the last romantics out there and we're on that same wavelength. And it's amazing to me today that here we stand, two people's hearts desires that had a prayer for one another. You were praying for him before you ever knew him. And you were praying for her before you ever met her. And look where we are today. Getting ready to unite you two in holy matrimony. And it's a beautiful thing. God brings two people together. And I'm so thankful for that today. My girls couldn't ask for a better role model than you. And I thank you for that. And my son thanks the world of you. And I thank God for that. together and we have shared so many incredible memories over the years. From sleepovers and vacations to navigating through our teenage years, we've been through it all. It's truly amazing to see where we started and where we are now. Today, Kira married the love of her life and I'm beyond happy for her. I have seen love between Kira and Lucas grow from the very beginning and it's clear that they were made for each other. I'm so grateful to have you as my best friend. You are kind, compassionate, and always there for me when I need you. You have been a constant in my life, and I am honored to stand by your side on this special day. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you and Lucas. God's blessed me with a great group of friends that I've had throughout the throughout all the walks of life and blessed me to have you in the midst of all of it since day one. So, uh, buddy, I love you more than you'll know, and I wish nothing but the best for you all. When Kira and Lucas first got together, she would tell me all of his cute little quirks he had, like, Lucas played this song for me and sung to me. Lucas made dinner for me. Lucas went out of his way to plan this extravagant weekend trip. Lucas did this, Lucas did this. She was obviously in love, and I got to meet him and knew she had met her match. I mean, who can talk more than Kira? But really, she found the man that taught her what it was like to be treated like a princess, and Lucas, I thank you for that. I mean, I couldn't imagine a better partner for my sister to deal with her sassiness and put up with her attitude. But really, for somebody to love her and treat her the way you do is amazing, and I couldn't ask for a better husband for my sister. Uh, this is coming from the guy that cried at the altar without even having to have a wife to be at the altar. I did cry. I can't even... I'm a sentimental guy. I can't help it. But um, this is the part I really don't like doing uh, in front of people. I really care about this guy a whole lot. I'm very, I'm very proud of you, Luke, and I really love you, man, and I'm glad that you've, you've grown into the guy that you are. Kira, I've learned to grow and love you, and I'm proud of you both, and you guys deserve each other. <laughs> 